So here we go with the final here in Germany, in Tetero, it's Greg Hancock off the inside, Ty Wolfing then off two, Smarslik off three, Doyle off the outside, title race, Wolfing at one, two, one, Smarslik one, one, three. That's an eight point difference, but with a possibility of three points for Smarslik here, it could get even tighter going to Torren in a fortnight's time in the last round of the World Championship. Well, a race win here and a Grand Prix victory, well, he could very well go on to be world champion again. Here we go, what a lineup. Green lights on! Oh, oh Smarslik's moved! Smarslik's moved at the start and he's in the back! It's Hancock who has the lead! Whopping got around the outside! Just at the right time for Ty Wuffenden, Kelvin. Wuffenden hits the front. What a moment to do it. Fantastic move from the British man. He's out in front. Smarslik back in third place. Doyle, second. Hancock got beaten up there on the, on the first lap. Wuffenden's away. No, he's got this one. What a turnaround of events this is. Fantastic ride from Ty Wuffenden in front. We're into the last lap of the final here in Tetro. He's hardly made it, made a start in the last three Grand Prix, but now Ty Wuffenden, he's going to come round and he's going to enjoy a ten-point lead going to Torrent for the final round of the World Championship. It's Great Britain's Ty Wuffenden, just what it matters most. He's delivered the knockout punch. Yeah, it's the uh, business end of the season and Bartek's going quick, but uh, today I was faster and Looking forward to two weeks' time. Sure, it's one hand on the trophy, and um, you know, just gonna finish the job off. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a tricky night. Um, you know, I only had one race win early on, and um, you know, second in the semi behind Doyley, and then uh, yeah, made a made a couple of good starts tonight. So, just got a step in the right direction. <laughs> Congratulations, Ty. Thank you.